Scenario 21, Innuendo. And this is one of the final scenarios of the campaign, Invasion from the Unknown. We have reached the heart, we have reached the Chaos Emperor's stronghold. What awaits us within, we shall see. A presence, a strong, dark presence fills this whole place. As if the walls and floor had a life of their own. I don't like this. Thus you dare enter my stronghold. You truly are a foolish hero, Galas. It's that voice again. Reveal yourself, coward who hides in the darkness. We have come here to put an end to your reign of chaos and suffering. <laughs> that metallic laughter sure sounded real to me. He seems to want us to move forward, so let us be on the lookout for traps, and we need to find a way to open this gate. Oh please, courtesy is wasted in a place like this. Just blast them down or something. Drop your weapons this instant, Elf, and the Master may yet show you and your friends mercy. Nova, onwards everyone. Choose your recruits and recalls carefully. They will not require upkeep, but you should try to keep them alive for as long as possible. No other units will be available to you for the remainder of the campaign. Okay, we're in a situation of extremely limited resources here. We've only got 160 gold, so 8 units, not going to require upkeep, so we'll have to pick our 8 best. Objectives, explore and descend deeper underground, we've got 93 turns, and this is a mission where, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't look like, even, like this scenario is even that big from this perspective. Galas, Elenia or Malkashar, if they die, then I will lose. Erethan, interestingly, is no longer an obligatory unit. He can die down here. Obviously, I'd rather he didn't. 100% of gold carried to the next scenario. Well, gold is but basically irrelevant now. So these eight units, this is my life now. All right, well, first things first. Wouldn't be a very good scenario if I didn't start by obliterating someone with Malkashar. I'm going to put Elinia here so that she'll heal whoever this guy decides to go for. Probably Arathan. Alright, recalls. First person, the person who is absolutely crucial down here, is a healer. So, Sothinia the Shied. You're coming with me. Now, I want to take as many Spectres and Night Gaunts as I can. Okay, there's more enemies in sight. So, I'm going to get the Spectres and Night Gaunts at the back. The Slashy has had two advancements. Deffy has had, I think, just one advancement. And the BBEG himself, the lady, who has had not one, not two, but three after maximum level advancements. Gonna get a Night Gaunt. It's a shame that my shadow got killed, otherwise, I'd be very tempted to take that too. But I've got three remaining choices. Now down here, I think a level 3 Intelligent Resilient Necromancer is never going to be a bad thing to have. Nor is a Prowler, because Prowlers can slow things, and they're reasonably fast underground compared to other Elves. So that means I've only got one slot left. Um, now at the bottom of the map here, these guys are not really worth considering. Skeleton, Death Baron... Um, Dreadbat, Revenant. Dreadbat, of all of these, is the only one I could sort of fire fairy no. I mean, it's going to be dark in here. So, only 
only chaotic units will benefit. Neutral units, well, they'll be fine. Um, so these five are pretty much ruled out already. That just leaves the top five. Um, and of these... The tankiest is uh, slow, but his great problem is that he is slow, and his leadership abilities are not going to be the most useful thing in the world underground. Letheridae the Forest Spirit is tempting because she's actually quite resistant to damage. Um, she has one major disadvantage, which is that she is, which is that she takes a lot of damage. Um, from she doesn't well she doesn't have much health is basically her disadvantage I think she's weaker than everyone else here um, but she's also in many ways better at dealing damage she's an all-round unit she's got good resistances um, and if she sticks next to Elinia I think she might be more useful than any of the rest the winner is also tempting but the winner is also quite weak doesn't have the resistances and furthermore will also struggle to move as fast as the rest of them all except the necromancer but she's an elf so she's slower underground so i think against perhaps my better instincts i'm going to go for this spirit unit um lethrade and uh, and see what happens there she's also not too far from a after maximum level advancement so i think this is my best bet and i have to say goodbye to absolutely everyone else now all right Galas, you step forward a bit. Actually, you go here. You step back, and because uh, you're better at dealing damage. All right. <laughs> Running away won't save you. Oh, but there are an awful lot of units here. And at this point, this campaign becomes really special because none of the other campaign scenarios are quite as RPG-like as this one. We've got lots of longbowmen coming in. It would be good to get into a good defensive position, but I don't really have time to. So instead what I'm going to do is wait for them to come to me. And these first three will be able to, but the others won't. So units who can both dish it out and take it. Malkishar is a very good bet for that. Okay, that will take a while for Gallus to heal up, but uh, it's not impossible, especially with his drain attack. <clears throat> In fact, if he attacks this guy, he ought to gain more health than he loses. Just about, yeah. Alright, you're the toughest. Over here there's some nasty enemies coming in. It's tempting to move to block them with Malkashar, because none of them are skirmishes, and the only one who can really hurt Malkashar is, uh, is the Invoker, and he's level 1. So interestingly, because this counts as indoors, I don't actually get any great disadvantages or advantages based on who I use here. So I'm going to put you there. And then Elinia. Not 
not fantastic. Someone needs to come up and deal with this guy before I can get around. That was pretty weak. You're a skirmisher, you're a skirmisher, that's good. See, that's a Magus, okay. Soon be dead too. Fantabulous. Alright, and who else needs some healing? You guys, you two could use some healing, so I'll just stick you behind here. Trickily, tricky, tricksy of you, slowing Malkashar like that. But Elinia is on the case. Um, I mean, Erethan is on the case. Cold damage isn't great against these guys. What about Arcane? That should do it. Is there anything in this room? Or is it just an empty room full of... Yeah, looks like it. Seems like a good idea to go for the drain attack here. I think I can still probably take more than I... Oh no. Okay, well that was roughly even. Okay. Someone should stick their head in here to see if there's anything useful. I can't see anything. There's a pool. Okay, no, it's just an empty room with a pool in it. Over here there's a magus. Can someone go there who isn't going to take damage? You're not quite fast enough to do that. What about you? Well, you won't be killed. And I can put a healer next to you. gate up here, there's a gate down here. Two gates. I 
Oh, there's going to be a secret door in here or something, I bet. Different coloured walls, it looks sketchy. Okay, so you're most of the way back up to full health. Galas, you can't quite get in there and get your nice healing. Um, but... Marathon. Marathon gets the kill. Some spectres can... Can anyone... No one can reach the door? Really? You can. Okay, good. Ooh, sugar. Oh, just great. Seize the Lady of Light and kill the intruders. Okay. That's, uh... This is a, an interesting situation. I can basically hold them at this gate fairly indefinitely and keep picking them off. And I guess that's what you're supposed to do here. But I would like to know what's up here as well. Okay, this looks like the entrance to some sort of prison. No one in there. this up as a potion there can't reach it this turn and terrain description will not help me well as long as there's only one gates open I don't really need to fuss too much you come back out <laughs> Absolute swarm of units, and there's even a there's even a death knight in here, a nameless death knight. So slow, you would have met your match had you been here. Now I'll use this night gaunt to see what's here. This potion is supposed to make one more agile. I wonder if this is what makes those demons so hard to hit, rather than natural skill. This potion can only be used by living beings. Let another take it. Alright, this is one for Galas. And I don't know if the barrel is in fact anything. I'm gonna just undo that move. And No, that's not not a thing, as they say. Okay. You've got good resistances against everything. You're weakest against impact. Cold and fire aren't bad either. Who does impact damage around here? Aha! A prowler that can slow people does do impact damage. And then we can get the kill with someone. There's no berserkers in here. That's good. That would be very scary. Alright, our area is very close to another level. Leave my healer here. Put you there. Once I've got more units in position, I can open up the other gates, but I'm not going to do so for now. I'm going to send Galas north. And that would be that.
Now he can make zombies, which is kind of handy. So many units here though. So many. Alright, Galas have the potion. Okay, that increases Galas' movement points by one, and the base damage of, it, of his ranged attacks are increased by one, if applicable, which it is! So he can now move eight, and his attack is 10-3 ranged. That's going to make him a lot more effective. Okay, whack the gate, open the gate. You come down here. The most worrying person here is this Magus. Alright, you're up to 80 hit points, which is quite incredible. I think that's the highest that any of my units have. Um, not Elinio or Malkashar, but everyone else. And I'm going to leave you like that for now. Put a spectre here in case anyone comes through the wall. They shouldn't, but they could. And that's that. Now, um, one of these players attacks before the other, um, and eventually... I mean, there's, <laughs> there's a purple ray blade of it. It doesn't seem to really care. Um, but the black and orange players... Black has got the scarier units here. There are several level 3 demon warriors. Um, otherwise, I'm only really scared of the Death Knight and the Magus. And the Magus only because it can deal arcane damage. But uh, both of these units here... I mean, my Necromancer has 20% resistance to arcane. And... This Prowler is weak to arcane, but can slow. And that's the crucial thing here. Okay, they're all going up there for some reason. Well, you want to do that? Okay, orange is, orange is still game. So let's push forward one door at a time. How best to sort this out. So for now, you stand here. Someone here can come in, maybe still trying to level up Erethan. I'd like to level you up as well, so you, you maybe come here and get this kill. Would be good to have a healer in that spot, just I don't. Not too much damage there. Black is blocked. Or mostly blocked. Probably this is a job for Alinea because she's super, super resistant to arcane damage. And she's at a, almost at a level up, actually. Well, Kashar, you come forward. Gallus has moved as far as he can. Oh. 
Well, since there are more units coming out here, um, maybe there is a hurry after all. But these look like level 1 units, so I think I should be able to chew, 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 to chew through them okay. You go back. You go back first. Then you go back. Then you try and kill this demon. And you can have seven hit points, which would make you an absolute beast of a tank. Um, you can have... I mean, this, interestingly, I can have shielding one, shielding three. Shielding three is just better in every way. I could go for the thorns attack, but I haven't been using it so far. Given that I've been using her a lot against arcane, um, to deal arcane damage as well, I feel like this might not be a bad bet for her. Might be better than giving her more hit points at this point. So I will do that. Shielding three. Okay, and now... Well, Keshar, I would normally not put him within the light beam effect. Well, maybe you still won't, because these are automata, and they Malkishar is not really the best against them. What about you? No. You guys are very resistant. Um, you really want to hit them with impact damage. The only person who has impact damage really is you. I don't want to use you. So yeah, Malkishar. Now two units can move in, which is a little concerning, especially since one of them's a Magus. But I don't think they're going to be able to one-shot the legend himself. And just in case they can, well no, not just in case they can, if they, if they can I'll lose, but I'm just going to move a healer up behind. Alright, try this. a lot of damage. And Black's weaker units are coming up behind. Still three nasty, nasty demon warriors here. Who else? Can anyone else go toe-to-toe -to -toe here? Well, I'm gradually getting through the worst of them, but there's still these demon warriors, there's still a death knight, there's still the ray blade, and there's still this gut wrencher, all of which are level 3. think you're tough enough to tough it out in the doorway on your own. Though maybe, maybe. What resistances do you have? You're weak to arcane, but I just killed everyone with arcane damage here. last not quite a hit there ah oh, so frustrating okay that means that yeah you might get a couple of hits in before dying and that could change the dynamic here what other resistances have you got not very resistant against cold and that's going to be a problem if there are demon if there are demon lords here ha ah, oh dear okay hmm did i put someone here is that the right play get a necromancer in Uh, 
potentially orange is going to block me from is going to block black from doing anything too smart and impact is not hugely good against these guys so i think that's a good move okay Okay, interesting. Use your most rubbish unit. That's fine. Orange going for some clonk clonk damage next turn. You run back there. We're going to do a little switcheroo here. Put a linear in that position and put the forest spirit in this position. And a linear might take a hit or two, but that is okay. When Malkashar's a bit more healed up, and we're going to bust through this wall. I think one more turn of health for Malkashar ought to do it. Those demons are nasty, and I think, yeah, the Death Knight is going to give leadership to his allies. So if I use you to bash down the gate, you're going to take a ton of damage next turn. Unless I bring someone out here, like the Necromancer. Can you get there? It's not obvious that you can't. You just got an upgrade for cold resistance, so maybe I should just use you, Linear, for that. Clong and... Good deal of damage there. Someone over here can come and get this kill. Oh dear. Alinea, your frontline days are over for a little while. <laughs> no, 
that's annoying, because you can deal lots of arcane damage, which would have been useful against this guy. Okay... You then, you pull back. you take too much damage from this guy... That's more like it. Alright, 18 damage to go. Galas, you're going to get owned if you try and fight these guys. There's still another one back here. Um, so... That's a lot of damage! Ah... Not much you can, you should be able to do against a top level spectre. Just quite a lot of damage though. I could just stand there and not attack this turn. Maybe that's the best bet. If I get more than three hits here, then they can kill me with a with Infernal Chill if he's lucky. Let's try it. Maybe you just plonk you there, because you're the toughest, but then again. You're very likely to take a lot of hits from these guys. Alright. Fingers crossed. You're probably going to get sapped by a Chaos Invoker next turn. And then for now, you just stay where you are. Interestingly, this guy didn't want to attack me. Oh, why are you that weak? Okay, these guys get resistance against Arcane, I see. Do they get... The resistance against arcane and fire, but basic melee damage is good against them. So maybe this is a job for Galas. Still two demon lords out there. And Galas only has 40% defense on this terrain. Okay, good. Ah, no kill. Interesting. Okay, you'll you'll probably suicide on Malkeshar, won't you? Yeah, I get that healing.
very gradually getting rid of the tougher of these units here. five hit points for you. Okay, ready for Malkeshar to get a little bit owned? Maybe two owned? He's only got 60 hit points and there are two units here plus units with fire. Oh dear. Okay. Should I come forward? Yeah, I'm kind of worried that I've left Malkeshar in an indefensible position there. So I think I'm going to put my necromancer out here, take out this imp. Shouldn't be killed. No, I'm hoping Malkashar can take this. Well, they haven't gone for a clever play where they try and take out Malkashar anyway, which is what I thought they would do. And it would be an instant win for that player, so... Um, orange is nearly a spent force. straight out or play it smart. Too many black units around here to do anything too dumb, um, but I could bring a linear down here, hopefully take out this automaton. And then... And then... Where's the... Okay, you can get in on that combat, just not as decisively as I'd like. You can't be poisoned, you're too good for that, and this guy doesn't do much damage against you. Do I push my luck further? No, I think not. Erethan, you come down here. Spectres, you go here. Could bring the two Spectres out, but I don't want to get too much arcane damage in on the oh, I'm already worried that I'm going to lose my Night Gaunt. Could only kill it with Igor, and then only if I got lucky. Or with Galas, with four out of five hits. We'll try that. Oh no, not even close. And you can still get in on my Night Gaunt.
Alright, this could be my worst turn. Yeah, look at this. One miss, one miss! Oh no! Oh, this is why I don't get night guns. Will be the case that you get six hits on 70% at exactly the one moment in the campaign when that will be the worst possible outcome. No kill. That's a kill. I'm going to really regret that moment, I just know it. Okay, it's all to play for. Good. You need another level soon. Okay, there's a robot up there, there's a ray blade there. here. Looks like that's a nothing square. Mm. Oh, maybe you just can't move very fast through it. Maybe I need to send a spectre down there. Nope, that is definitely a dead end. Okay, I want to get you out. Remember about you that you're resistant to impact. You're resistant to everything except impact. So, but you're too weak to, to take this hit. So I need to lure you with someone else, like a linear. You, I don't want you to fight. So you go there. Come behind. Most of you are going to gain a nice amount of health next turn. And what we see up there, it's another robot. This one is a Goliath. A bit more powerful. You come over here. The rest of you just heal up a little bit. It's 
weird that that's a dead end. It really doesn't seem like it should be. Alright. Optimal outcome. Now I can finish this dude off. Head up here, aggro the ray blade. Now fire is good against you, so you're the person I want to deal with that. And you can come here. Fifty percent resistance to all weapon damage. Oh dear, four misses on 70% to hit. Anyone else want to go? It really has to be someone who can stand here and get the kill. Okay, there's boxes down here. I'll send a spectre over to investigate. I think I'm thought to send you. Well, you can reach that room, so. Oh, there's a there's a guy in there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to send someone down there to deal with that. Maybe more than one. I wonder what he's guarding. So you stay. Okay, so if I can aggro the Hell Guardian, have him stand there, it'll do take a lot of damage from me. And there's a potion back there. So many items here, it's great. There's a bow, there's a... Yeah, I mean, there's everything down here. And up here I just need to worry about killing everything. Okay, there's the black player. Can probably afford to aggro this mechanical Goliath now. It's got good resistances, but not so great against cold, which is the main damage of a necromancer.
and then some unlucky shock styles. <laughs> Interesting move to attack with a stick. But it has hurt Igor quite a lot. Hmm, why would anyone craft armor out of pure gold? Everyone knows it's one of the softest materials in Irdia, these ostentatious fiends. Okay, so that's not an item I want to pick up. Solid gold armor. can finish this. Oof, that would be a lot of damage for you though. Not yet. Nice work, Arathan. You might even become useful one day. So what's up here? I need to do some scouting. There's more drones. That's a lich! Oh my goodness! Malabadur, the lich. over to this side then. You go up there. Don't think the lich is coming. This chest is empty. I love the way that there's just literally a lich hanging around here. Okay. Alright, Galas, you start picking up these things. As I lift this enchanted bow, my vision appears to become sharper. This will surely prove useful later. Only a strong and experienced archer could possibly draw this bow. Alright, not you then. It is a strength potion. The flask contains only enough for one person, but surely it will come in handy when we finally confront that Chaos Emperor. Who should take it? You... Alright, okay, you're a bit of a beast now, Gallas. But as for the bow, I guess the only other possibility is Erethan. So we'll see if Erethan wants it. Chaos Warlord Felix will report 452. The elf sorceress is dead. I did not expect her to bring the entire cavern down upon us. Sadly for her, I simply dug my way out of the rubble with the help of a few drone servants. Even had I not seen her crushed and broken body, I knew there was no way she could have saved herself. 
Not that the vacuous creature would have done so anyway. A curious trait, self-sacrifice. Unfortunately, she managed to buy the Lady of Light time to escape. But no matter. In the end, they will come to us. All right, you are. So, hmm. Is there any point pushing where this lich is? Seems like there is some. What resistances does Elenia have these days? She's got extra cold resistance, as in she's not weak to it anymore. That's all that means. Just a regular lich. It's resilient, though. And before these drones respawn, it might not be a bad idea. Oh, okay, there's a, a Razorman there. Alright, let's not overdo it. Step back a bit. Let the Lich come. Going for the melee attack there, interestingly. And here, going for a defensive position. Well, that's cute and all, but I've got Malka Shah, you know, so. Big damage potential here. And that's a Lich kill. And everyone else, I think I want you to come up here. Someone ought to be able to take out this Chaos Razorman, I think. And I don't doubt that if anyone can, it's a Spectre. So I'll leave you there. You want to come out, you can attack the Spectre or you can attack Malkashar, it's your choice. And Arathan can get that bow. Aha, I've got the Marksman special. That's nice. Oh, I can... What about this chest? What's in there? Ha! Huh, gold! I mean, what, what the hell uses gold? I can't recruit any units. It's not like we will need the gold anytime soon, but there's nothing wrong with a little plundering, right? Yeah, well, can't disagree with that. Yep, nothing to see here. And there's a box, there's a barrel, there's another... Okay. The Razorman did not come out, which must mean he's scared. I can't get in there with Elinia. Let's see if a Spectre can... Okay, so we can see where we have to go. You're slowed. Too great. Oh. 
not dead and no one else can get close and then over here can aggro the ray blade with the with the with the spectre. Gallus, you come up here. You, you can even go a little bit further over here, get more vision, and you can go behind. There we go. Who needs the experience over here? You're almost just another after maximum level advancement, and you're a little bit squishy compared to some of these others. But then again, Slashy will be there with this. No, I'll let you have it. Okay. I don't think the boxes and the barrels tend to contain anything, but it won't slow me down. Invisibility tonic. One clipped fairy wing, one eye of blood bat, two sprig of alborian shade flower, one land spade powder, three moon wisps, blue moon wisps. Combine fairy wings with blood bat. I mix well and boil an iron cauldron for two hours. Add rest of ingredients, stirring makes five beakers of invisibility tonic. Well, doesn't look like there's anything I can do with that. We can proceed down here. Once again, aggro the Razorman with someone good. Like a spectre. Oh, there's the leader of the black. You go and sit on that box. Actually, can you? Yeah, no. Which way? Do you want to come and attack Keshar, or do you want to come and attack my spectre? Either way is fine by me. Well, that's less fine. Still... was pretty weak. Slow boy can't get in there because he's too slow.
36 plus 24, 60 damage, not enough to kill Ilenia. Yes, that seems like a go. And Slashy gets the level. You stay where you are. Don't want you to get shot. You come over here. Stay where you are as well. Oh! What the? Good, don't kill it. Whew, that was a heart in the mouth moment. Crawler. What's that? Okay, underwhelming attacks from Malkeshar there. Alinea, you try and take out this guy. without taking the maximum possible damage. You can get the other one. Right, then I know where you're gonna stand. You can't do anything useful now. So there's a Psy Mind Raider over here. Again, not going to rush in, not knowing that that thing's there. But it looks like that's going to open a door somewhere else, maybe these doors. Well, let's move everyone out and see. If you want to come out and zap someone, be my guest. You can zap my very, very tanky necromancer. And you can do so on terrain that is favourable to me. Galas, meanwhile. Yeah. Wow, poor old Alinea. Alright, defensive play it is then. What's your description? You've got, you're weak against Arcane, you're good against Blade and Pierce. Alright. So, Malkeshar, with good defense, ought to be able to do some damage here. Not that much. Tanky Necromancer, ought to be able to do some damage here. Maybe get poisoned. Huh? Yo! You will not succeed. You can't kill the Emperor. Ugh. I don't suspect anyone has actually tried before. Alright, now I'm going to need to run in here where it's light, so my these units are going to be at a disadvantage. You just hop down there, and you go there. And these folks can come out now. None of them can do a vast amount of damage. 
Ooh, that mind probe attack though, that is nasty. That could take out Malkashar. So in that case, I'm gonna put Detea here. in the same area at least. Pointless suicide. Swarm attack from this nasty bugger. Linear ought to be able to finish this thing off. Not quite finished, but pretty weak. And that takes Galas back up to full health. Alright, Igor, you go around here, try and finish off this guy. Good stuff. Now you move that. Touch plate triggered, a gate opens. Alright. Ah, oh, that ought to do the trick. Onwards. And at that moment, with the gate open to a new area of the map, it looks like there's a new player on board, yellow player, with one loss, um, a much missed Night Gaunt. I am going to take a break, so come back for part two of this long scenario. And this map really is a lot bigger than it looks.